Here's a quickie pop fishing quiz for you. What do you think of when you think of Biloxi, Mississippi? The answer might just surprise you. As always, we're going to have a lot of fun in the next half hour and a lot of great fishing from the great state of Mississippi. Fox Sports Outdoors is on the air right now. You're watching the only program with weekly fishing reports and real-time outdoor news from the Southeast region. This is Fox Sports Outdoors. Hi everybody and welcome to this week's episode. When you think of Ocean Springs and Biloxi, Mississippi, you think of casinos everywhere and great restaurants and lots of fun. You think of deep sea fishing with these great big old ocean going boats and these big yachts and giant sailboats and all of those kinds of things. You think of deep sea fishing big game tournaments that go on right here out of Biloxi. But one of the things that doesn't get a lot of hype and is really good around here is the inshore bay fishing here at Ocean Springs and Biloxi. And that's what we're going to concentrate on this week. We're taking our brand new Blazer Bay 2420 GTS out in the bay to do some fishing for redfish, speckled trout, sheephead, maybe a triple tail, all of those inshore species that are so prolific in this area. We're going to be joined for part of this week's episode by Captain Robert Brody, who guides here all the time for the inshore species. And while we're out doing that, we're going to be taking you around your local region for your fishing reports this week from our expert team of insider reporters from lakes, rivers, and bays right where you live, both fresh and salt water. This is going to be a lot of fun, maybe some news to some of you as to how good the back bay fishing is here at Ocean Springs and Biloxi. Right now we're going to go join up with Captain Brody. We get things started back at the FSN studios and your weekend planner. A check of the salooner tables reveals fair game fish activity for your weekend at the lake. Peak fishing conditions should begin in the morning hours a bit after sunrise and again in the evenings roughly around dusk. Expect the sun to rise at 6.43 and set at 8.23. And night skies will feature a last quarter moon that is 50% visible. We'll be right back to check all of the current fishing reports from throughout the area. And I'll return with professional guide Terry Littlejohn to talk striper fishing on this week's Ask the Pro feature. Back in a bit. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Lou's. Feel the difference. Gene LaRue and Bobby Garland. We know bass and crappie from heads to tails. Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. Plan your fishing vacation and catch the details at orangebeach.com slash fishing. And by Glacier Glove. Stay outdoors longer with our gloves, hats, and shades. Come in this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's a knife. He's got it, Robert. One's got it. Did he? All right. Got him, got him, got him, right in front of that dock. Swimming at the boat. Be a good red fish. Come in this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's a knife. Not very big. It's, it, it's a start. Well, we've got a red fish anyway, so something to get it going. Hey, calm down. Hey, calm down, calm down. I'm just going to grab you like that. Show you for the folks. Just a good solid redfish. What do they need to be to uh, be a keeper here? Uh, he's probably about 21, has to be 18. He's way legal. So he's a legal keeper oh, yeah, right there. That makes oh, yeah. good black and redfish right there, folks, right there. Oh, it's hard to beat, I'm telling yep. you. There's a decent Mississippi Biloxi Ocean Springs redfish for you right there. That's We're the letting them go back today, no big deal. Catch a bunch of those here. See you, buddy. You said you love fishing docks. Oh, yeah, and, I love it. And it, it, start explaining or tell them why you like fishing these well, docks so much. You, you got a lot of good ones oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, the, the docks just they provide a lot of shadow. The fish love to get under them shadows. It performs a feeding station for all the fish. And they'll, get, they'll just swim back and forth underneath these piers. And it's kind of a challenge to be able to flip that bait precisely right under that pier. And it's funny, some piers. Just certain spots on piers will hold fish where no other spot will. We can't explain it, but if you fish enough piers, you figure out the pattern on each pier, you know? 
And uh, we just, my clients love it because, you know, it's the challenge of making the good cast. You know, when you get that good cast, then after you hook a big one, but we're usually using braided lines, so you got to get those big fish out from under there. And usually they'll wrap on a pile and you got to be able to like work that fish easily back and forth out of there. You know, it's kind of, kind of an art to it. You don't want to just pull and pull. You want to kind of ease him out. And eventually with your braided line, if you're lucky, you'll get him on out of there and you'll land him. A lot of saltwater fishing you're throwing out in open water, but this, you've got a target, something to look mm -hmm. at. You make a good cast, you get a reward. That's right. For your effort. That's right. All right, let's do it again. This part of the program is brought to you by Egret Baits, makers of the new Voodoo Shrimp. That voodoo shrimp is so realistic, every time I see one, I want to dip it in cocktail sauce and take a bite out of it. So pick up a new voodoo shrimp and put them where the fish are. They'll do the rest. Well, it's summer in the south, and that means it's plenty hot and bright, and that makes for really good night fishing around the entire south coast area. Anywhere that there's a good quality lights shining down into the water and things are calm, uh, all the boat activity has dwindled, the fish come out and start to feed. They'll often be glass minnows, sometimes shrimp, menhaden, and other bait species, and that's why those fish are there. You want lures that are going to look like those bait species, small dive and plugs work well. You catch them on jigs, also natural baits like live shrimp are excellent. For fly rotters, you want uh, small streamers that look like glass minnows or little bitty bait fish, sparsely tied, these are small minnows, and also shrimp imitation patterns. Anything that looks like shrimp that would work real well on bonefish or permit on the flats will take these fish at night. Keep it simple, go slow, uh, have a flashlight with you. Sometimes it's best to go out an hour or two before dark, fish areas that you're familiar with, and as it starts getting dark and the lights come on, you'll feel better for it. Also, some anglers go before daylight an hour or two and uh, goes very slow to some places close to a boat ramp, places that you know, fish those docks, and you're going to catch plenty of fish. Well, that's it for the coast. Get out there at night, and when you go, take a youngster with you. You got one? You got one. Yes, sir. Good. Feel like you had a little size to him. We're gonna find out. Captain Robert Brody's got a, a redfish on for you right there on the pier. Gone out to deep water. Going on you. out, he's shaking that head. Gone to open water on you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Good. Look at that. Oh, look at that run. Look wow. at that. Good thing you had your drag set a little well, bit. Well, I tell you what, I might ought to set it a little bit looser. I've noticed too, once you get him clear of the pier like that, you're 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 letting him play down. Oh a yeah, bit. You're not I'm to not gonna force I'm him. not gonna force him. I don't want to force the hook out of his mouth. We haven't even seen him yet. Oh, it's a pretty fish. Come on. Come on, big guy. Beautiful, Beautiful fish. Come on, look at the colors on him up here in that the sun. bay. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Now this is a really good fish for back here in the bay. Yes. This is where all the larvae end up. When they spawn out in the gulf, the larva comes back in with the currents and um, Look at the colors on that fish. My goodness, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So you said once they get this big, then they tend to start leaving. Yeah, they'll tend to go offshore. They'll get big enough to spawn, and then they'll congregate in gigantic schools offshore. But but this is a good representative this, fish for as big as you're going to catch. Exactly, here. exactly. This is the ideal fish you want, especially for the for the dining table. Just a beautiful fish. Well, this one got caught on just the right day. Oh yeah. Because uh, he gets to go down there and That's swim right. back to that pier. Not many days they get freedom. All right, here we go. Goodbye, beautiful redfish. There you go. All we'll right. catch him again some other day. So we've got you a couple of redfish that we've showed you how you can catch them. Next, we're gonna do something completely different. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. I've only done it a couple of times in my life gonna try to catch a triple tail. Hang in there, we're gonna get ourselves rigged back up. <laughs> Got there him. We go. Got him. How about that? There's us a triple tail. Hey, welcome back everybody. We're still out of Ocean Springs in Biloxi, Mississippi. Got Captain Robert Brody with us. We've been out looking for a triple tail and we've actually found one. Now, the cloudy skies are not gonna let us show it to you on camera, but he's sitting right behind that crab pot right there. Do you see him in there? Oh, yeah. We can both see him with our polarized sunglasses. I'm gonna make a cast with a free line live shrimp right behind it. We've got a lot of current. 
ripping in here and so it's going to really take the perfect cast to drift it right in behind that it may take me three cast or four casts front and kind of get it right across his nose that's yep. always the trick yep there you go right in there and let it drift back see what happens come on eat that shrimp he's right on it he's got it he's got it i'm going to just let him eat it got there we go him. got him how about that there's us a triple tail that's a decent fish yeah, not a big good. one but just a good representative triple tail we'll put him in the net show yeah. him on camera and we'll release him we're not going to keep any fish today but that'll at least show you what a what a mississippi triple tail looks like that's a legal fish right there yeah he's bigger that's than we thought yeah, he was yeah. you said that's a legal keeper which means yep. he's he's got to be 18, 18, 18 inches, inches long yeah and so we could keep this fish they're great oh, eating too by the way eating. how do you like to fix them i like to bake them get a little crab meat uh dressing and put it on top of them you know oh, oh you, you are speaking good. my <laughs> language buddy that's good stuff but let me tell you what's cool about this triple tail fishing is it's all visual it's sight fishing yeah, yeah. and you you couldn't see it we we spent about 10 15 minutes actually driving around right, and right. you Burn spotted this thing yeah you gotta see it. i saw just a little like a little dark shadow behind the car you know we'll let this one go back and grow that's up nice a little fish. bit that fish is about four years old okay here we go back he goes just like here that go. all right hey guys welcome to this week's tennessee mississippi and alabama fishing report it's brought to you by the henry county tourism authority there's a lot going on in henry county and paris landing you can check it all out at fishkentuckylake.com you know this week i want to talk to you about uh, the, the hottest thing in the three state region right now is the crappie fishing in mississippi it's not your 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 granddaddy's crappie fishing either this is uh this is trolling uh, and i'm not talking about just spider rigging around i'm talking about pulling crankbaits, uh, specifically Strike King 3XD crankbaits. I've got some friends that are going down to Sardis and Grenada. Uh, they're they're, they're long-lining crankbaits behind their boat. It's a very controlled deal. They vary their miles per hour from like 1.6 to 1.9. It's that specific, like 0.3 miles per hour makes all the difference. And uh, they, have, they have depth charts. They know how much line to let out to reach certain depths, but they're catching just boatloads of big, big Mississippi crappie. If you want to go fishing and catch some, uh, the Coosa River right now is pretty good in Alabama and uh, those spots are biting. It's an early and late thing, some top water, some spinner baits. In Tennessee, I'm going back to Old Faithful, I'm going back to Chickamauga. Uh, Chick's got a lot of grass, it's real healthy. Uh, there's a lot of big fish being caught, the fish are really biting. So guys, uh, it's a good time to be here. We'd love to see you here. God bless. At the heart of Kentucky Lake is a special place known as Paris, Tennessee. It's a place where fishing, hunting, dining, shopping, and family fun are all served with a side of Southern hospitality. We hope you'll join us soon and experience this world by the water. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Motor Guide's new wireless and easy to use XI3. XI batteries powering the world forward. Waypoint Marine, the Gulf Coast's leading saltwater boating specialist. And Strike King, designed by the pros, fished by you. All right, there is a Katrina Reef trout. We've uh, made a move. This one's got it. Got him. Right off the edge of the rocks. Oh, here, baby, what have I got? Oh, that's a good trout. That's a good trout right there. Yeah, let me get control of the trolling motor here. Hey, welcome back, everybody. We are, whoa, 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 whoa. We're still out of Ocean Springs in Biloxi. And I've made another switch. Look at this. All right, there's a good one right there. There's a good trout for you made a switch and we've gone to trout fishing there is a katrina reef trout we've uh, made a move captain brody has had to go take some folks fishing he's on a guide trip now we've lost him out of our boat he had to go to work so we're on our own now and you can see right behind us we've made a big move we've caught redfish we've caught triple tail and now we've caught a nice speckled trout look at that 
what a great fish that's a that's the first one too fat dude what a great way to get things started on a little change we're again not keeping them today so that fish is going to gently get released back there you go buddy well here's what we've done it's a really nice day today and so we've come out to an artificial reef these are big concrete chunks from old bridges from hurricane katrina that devastated this whole area and so what they've done is reclaimed a bunch of this stuff broken it up into pieces brought it out here on barges and piled it up into artificial reefs they're sitting out here in about eight to twelve feet of water perfect habitat perfect cover for speckled trout redfish sheephead lots of different species we'll get on these easy to find if you want to come here Hey folks, it's time for your Carolina's report brought to you by the Crazy Sister Marina. We're located on the Marsh Walk and Merrill's Inlet. We're the leader in water sports along the Grand Strand and we have been for years. We can take care of all your needs on the water. Come down and bring your family. We've got private charter boats. We've got big head boats. We've got great eco tours. We've got kayak rentals, pontoon rentals. Anything you want to do, we can do it all right here at our Crazy Sister Marina. Visit CrazySister.com for more information. I want to talk about a huge tournament that's coming up along the Grand Strand in August. Okay, it's the 24th and 25th. The captain's meeting on the 24th at the Mullet Hut located right down here on the Marsh Walk. We've got a big Spanish mackerel tournament. It's the largest in the world. This year, there's going to be over $20,000 up for grabs. We've got women's categories. We've got youth categories. It's a great family-friendly tournament. Visit Spanish Mackerel Derby on Facebook page. You can find more information on it there. And also, remember, it's going to be a great time, so bring your family with you. Let's talk about other things in the saltwater side of things. And the nearshore reefs continue to produce a lot of big flounder this time of the year. We'll see these water temperatures are warming up. Those fish are going to load up on those reefs. There's a lot of bait out there and a lot of big flounder. Some four and six inch swim baits work great or good live bait. Moving along the beach, we've got a lot of big schools of Manhattan making their way and we're starting to see a lot of big schools of bigger mullet. You can get out and enjoy a great chance right now at catching some bigger king mackerel along the beach. But the other thing is those jetties and those bodies of water that hold tarpon, they are definitely making their way into those bodies of water right now. You can catch a huge silver king if you get out and spend some time this time of the year. Hey, I want to show you one other really cool thing that happened today. We were driving around looking for triple tail and we found one with his nose right on a crab pot floating buoy. We launched our drone and hovered it right over the top of that buoy and you can clearly see this triple tail with his face planted right against that floating buoy and he did not spook even when we hovered that drone down really close. That is some really incredible video. That's what a triple tail looks like on a buoy. Now I actually caught this fish. I threw a live free line shrimp in there. That triple tail came off that buoy, ate my shrimp, the fight was on. He actually wrapped me up around the cord to that buoy. I had to turn on the trolling motor, go up there, unwrap that fish, which I did, fought that fish, and actually wound up getting it in the net and it was a really nice triple tail. It was a very bright gold colored fish. We got to look at it, show it off, and then gently released it back into the Gulf. It'll probably swim right back on a buoy. You can go down there and catch that fish if you'd like. You can always watch our latest episode on the front page of our website at foxsportsoutdoors.com. Catch up on past episodes by clicking the archive button and learn about fishing techniques and new gear at our how-to page. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for new fishing videos every day. Simply search for Fox Sports Outdoors and click the like button on Facebook and follow button on Twitter. And watch a new episode every week on any device by downloading the free Waypoint TV app on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Nitro Performance Fishing Boats. Champions aren't born, they're made. Mercury Outboards, Go Boldly, and Lowrance, and the new Hook 2, the world's easiest fish finder. Welcome back everyone. It's time for the Ask the Pro question. This week, Major asks, is there an advantage to using a balloon instead of a traditional bobber when striper fishing? For the answer, we asked Terry Littlejohn of Lake Tawakani Guide Service. When fishing for striper in open water, a balloon works much better than a bobber because that balloon's surface area is much larger than a bobber. It's gonna drift longer distances. And also, it will help present your bait more naturally and put you in the strike zone longer. I hope that helps. 
Thanks, Terry. If you have a question for one of the pros, visit our website, follow the Ask the Pro link, and send it in. Now let's see who wins our big catch of the week. Hey everybody, we've got the Blazer Bay 2420 GTS parked safely back at the Point Cadet Marina at the Golden Nugget Hotel in Biloxi, Mississippi. And it's time right now for this week's winner in the Big Catch of the Week contest. He's Bo Sexton of Liberty, South Carolina, showing a 40 pound flathead catfish he caught at Lake Hartwell, South Carolina. If you'd like to be our next winner, just go to our website at foxsportsoutdoors.com Click on the Big Catch of the Week area on the right side of the front page. Follow the instructions to submit your photograph and you could be on television as our next winner. We had several important pieces of gear to catch the triple tail speckled trout redfish today. We caught them all on the loose TP1 speed stick inshore rod. It's a seven foot medium action with a microwave guide system and the wind grip dry tack handle perfect for all these fish and we had it matched with the loose TP1 inshore spinning reel. That's the 400 series reel. Now as far as the setup goes, we had 50 pound test braid, one split shot tied to 17 pound test fluorocarbon leader, about a foot of that, and then a one-aught kale hook on the end, and that caught everything we caught on this week's show. And one other super important piece of gear that I never go out without are my glacier gloves. As you can see, they've got some leather on the palms to help me grip. They're fingerless, they're breathable. They keep the sun and the salt water off my hands and protect my skin. My dermatologist is very happy with me about these Glacier Gloves, and you can see them online at the Glacier Glove website that you see on your screen. I got surprised by a waiter at a restaurant the other day. He came up and said, man, you're smiling big tonight. And I'm like, I am? For many years, I frowned and did not realize it until my wife pointed it out. I had to go stand in front of a mirror and practice what smiling actually felt like. But what I've learned is that since I've learned how to smile, I'm happier and the people around me are much happier as well. It just gives off a much better first appearance to those around you. Get in front of a mirror, practice smiling, and see what happens in your life. And before we get out of here, I'd like to give you the contact information in case you'd like to come here to the Gulf Coast and catch some of the great fish that we caught in the last half hour right here in Ocean Springs and Biloxi, Mississippi. Your guide for the day will be Captain Robert Brody. You can contact him with the information you see on your screen. One word of warning, he stays booked up well in advance, so you'd better get your trip in early. And when we come here, we stay at the Golden Nugget Hotel and Casino right on the water in Biloxi, Mississippi. Everything you could ask for, nice, clean rooms, great food at several restaurants, great music, Great casino, fantastic atmosphere, super people, everything you could ask for in one location, and you can contact the Golden Nugget Biloxi, the contact information you see on your screen. From the Gulf Coast of Mississippi, until next week, I'm Barry Stokes. Be safe, have fun. Bye-bye, y'all.